Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today's video is a whole house clean with me and it's jam packed with all the cleaning motivation that you're gonna need. But make sure you grab a snack because it is definitely a long one, but a good one. Uh, before we get started, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new here, welcome. I'm so glad you found my channel. My name is Sheila. I'm a married mama of three. I upload mainly cleaning and organizing videos. So if that's your jam, then this is the channel for you. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I also wanted to mention that today's video is my first ever collab here on YouTube, you guys, and I'm so excited. It's with my friend Mel from Mel Wick Love Cleans. She's the first friend that I ever made here on YouTube, and you guys are gonna love her. She's a married mama to one little boy. He's five months old, and she just recently returned back to work. Um, her channel is very similar to mine. She does cleaning and organizing videos as well, but she also throws in some decor videos, so you guys are just gonna love her channel. I'll leave her video linked down in my description box. So when you're done here, make sure you go over to her channel and check her video out and let her know that I sent you. So as usual, I'm gonna go ahead and start in the kitchen. I always like to start here because I feel like once my kitchen is clean, it gives me motivation to continue on cleaning the rest of my house. But I'm gonna start with the dishes. We're gonna unload and reload the dishwasher and then wash the pots and pans. And then I'm gonna just continue on with the other daily task of cleaning your kitchen. I'm just using my Mrs. Myers dish soap to clean out these pots and knives that I have left over and I'll also use that to clean out my sink. I am just about out of this soap but luckily I have an order from Grove Collaborative that should be arriving any day and if you're ever curious about the products that I use you should check out the referral link in my description box. For Grove Collaborative you'll get a free gift set out of it. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think is the most satisfying part of a cleaning video. For me, I think it's definitely cleaning the sink and vacuum lines and possibly the stove too. But let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Love you on the inside Tell me exactly what you mean 
So now for my stove, I'm gonna be using this Method All-Purpose Cleaner also in the scent lavender first, just to give it a quick wipe down to get the crumbs and stuff off of it. And then I'll be using this um, cooktop cleaner. And I'm just gonna put that on there and then rub it around with a paper towel and let it dry uh, while I do all the other cleaning in the kitchen. And then I'll go back in and scrape off all of the cooked off food and the stuff that's harder to get off. I'm also gonna be using that Method all-purpose cleaner on my countertops and kitchen table as well. Now tell me exactly how you feel I'm just trying to keep it real Let me love you on the inside So I just wanted to take a second real quick and just say thank you to everyone that is so supportive and watches my videos. It really means so much to me. And also, I hope that everyone is staying safe and sane during this crazy time that we're in right now. And hopefully my videos can give you guys just a little bit of a distraction from all of it and hopefully some motivation also to get your houses clean while we're all stuck inside. Um, but again, thank you so much for all of your support. So now I'm back to the stove. Um, it's for the most part, it's dried off enough for me to be able to scrape off all of the cooked on stuff and the stuff that's harder to get off. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then take that cloth again and just wipe off all of the product that I can. Um, and then I go back in with my all purpose spray from Method and just give it a good wipe down again just to make sure there's no residue left over from that cooktop cleaner. I can see it in your eyes that you're shaking cause you're holding it back. So now it's time to vacuum and I wanted to give y'all a close up of what my floors actually look like or at least this portion of my floor because this was filmed during nap time so after lunch and this is where Dalton sits at and he clearly made a mess <laughs> during lunchtime so I wanted to go ahead and get that vacuumed up and this is probably why my vacuum was so nasty in my last video because I used it to vacuum up food and everything but oh well it is what it is. Do it again, do it again and we won't end up as friends. Do it again, do it again, do it again. I trusted you once, but I won't. I won't do that again. And the kitchen is clean, at least for the next 10 minutes or so. 
And I've said it before, but there's nothing at all like a clean kitchen. When your kitchen is clean, it just makes your whole house feel so much cleaner. So moving on into the living room, and the first area that I wanted to tackle was this coat rack and our shoe rack underneath of it. All the jackets that I'm pulling off of there are the boys, and they obviously don't need that many jackets on the coat rack or at all right now because it's getting warmer outside so I wanted to get them washed and put away and then I wanted to clean off this shoe rack, vacuum it off and then pull it out and vacuum underneath of it as well. That wet spot that you see right there is not actually a wet spot, it's an oil stain. My husband got oil on his shoes and then put his shoes on the shoe rack and it stained it but I don't know how to get it out so it's just going to be stuck there I guess. sweep behind our entertainment center. I pull it out as far as I can without disconnecting the cords just to get the toys and the dirt out. Uh, all these cords under here are just a crazy mess. I really need to figure out a better system for them. So now I'm just going to sweep up this mess that was under there. Anyone else throw away the little toys that they find in random places? Because I totally just threw all of these away. I don't know how long they've been under there. They haven't played with them. They haven't asked for them. So... They don't really need them, right? So they're in the trash now. I used to think the world of you But somewhere down the line so if you guys are enjoying this video so far, I would really appreciate it if you would watch it all the way through or at least as far through as you can. I know it's pretty long, but I promise it's a good one. Um, and if you want to help my channel out in a different way, you can go ahead and share it on your social medias, on your Instagram or your Facebook, just so more people can find my channel. I would really, really appreciate it. I'm just about done with the living room now. I wanted to give all the services a wipe down, pick up all the mess on the floor, and then just give it a quick vacuum, and then we're gonna move on into the bathroom. We used to be inseparable. I used to stand by you. Now I'm only holding on to a bittersweet memory of you. Oh, I wish it wasn't true. So I think it's about time for a new battery for my Dyson. 
I don't know why it keeps dying so fast on me, but it died again in this video and I only used it in the kitchen and the living room at this point and it wasn't off charge for that long, but I don't know. I think I might need a new one, guys. So now we're moving on into the boys bathroom and I'm just going to give the countertops and the mirror a quick wipe down and then clean out the toilet and the tub. Obviously I'm cleaning the whole bathroom, but um, I'm going to start off by using Windex, which is in this method bottle, but it's actually just Windex to clean off the mirrors. And then I'm going to be using the Microbian um, cleaner, disinfectant cleaner to clean off all the countertops. So I wanted to go ahead and disinfect our light switch in here also because this one gets touched so much with dirty hands and it definitely doesn't get cleaned enough. So I wanted to take care of that and then I'm going to move on to cleaning the toilet. I'm going to be using three products on the toilet. I'm going to be using this Lysol bowl cleaner, the Method anti-back bathroom cleaner, and then also just disinfectant wipes. So I want to go ahead and let that bowl cleaner sit and then I'm going to spray this anti-back all over the floor and all over the toilet seat and let that sit while I wipe down the outside of it just to make sure it does its job because I think you have to let it sit for like a couple minutes. I don't know if I did a couple minutes, but you know, I did as much time as I could. <laughs> So as you've probably been able to tell, I'm not mopping on this day. So I did spray the floor down with that anti-back also and let it sit. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe it up just to make sure it's as clean as possible because I do have trouble with Brayden's aiming and we're working on it, but it's not perfect yet. And I also wanna apologize for my arm in the way of me cleaning the toilet, but I'm just doing a normal clean for the toilet, so. So now for the bathtub, I need it to go ahead and get all of these toys out of there. And I am throwing these little fishing poles in the garbage because the boys keep breaking them and I'm sick of fixing them. And they don't use them properly, so they don't need them. Um, and then I'm gonna go on to cleaning the bathtub. And what I'm gonna use for this is that Microban 24 hour disinfecting spray again. And then also some scrubbing bubbles bathroom cleaner. I'll let that sit for a couple minutes and then just go in and scrub it out. I just need you to know that I don't want you close, ooh, ooh, closer than before, uh -huh. closer than before, uh -huh. closer than before. Be wrapped around your arms instead of being lonely. We could be 
gazing at the stars But now it feels just like I wandered off into a room And closed the door behind me I never gave the key to you Even though I wanted to so that does it for the bathroom. The last thing that I want to do is go ahead and change out the hand towel and put a couple extra rolls of toilet paper in there. So now I'm moving on into Dalton's room and this is actually the next day. I did film this video in two parts, but I just want to go ahead and strip his bed, disinfect it, put a clean sheet on it and then wipe down the crib itself. And I'll be using the microban disinfectant spray for that as well. Sometimes I just don't know what to do. It should have been you. I could be driving to your place, but now the crown is shaking. Could be a face, but it feels like it will never go away until we make up. So Dalton's room doesn't get a deep cleaning as often as the other rooms do just because I typically clean during nap time and this room is obviously off limits at that time. So I want to go ahead and give this a good wipe down. I am going to be moving some things around. I'll be moving his camo recliner into that corner just so he has easier access to it and can use it more. And while I have everything pulled out, I am going to go ahead and clean the baseboards in the corners just because they were looking kind of dusty and I might as well do it while I have easy access to them. It should have been you. And I was gonna go through all of his toys while I was in here, but I changed my mind quickly when I opened it up and saw everything that was in there. So that'll be a task for a different day. And I also pulled out their easel while I was in here. I had it sitting behind the dresser just because it falls so easy um, and it just is a pain sometimes, but they have been playing with it nonstop since I pulled it out, so I'm happy about that. So this is Brayden's room, my three-year-old, and not much needed to be done in here. I just wanted to go ahead and make the bed. He 
He had a bunch of his Paw Patrol stuffed animals on the floor. I wanted to get them put up into the hammock and then wipe down his dresser. That's really all that needed to be done in here. And I also vacuumed too. And now in the master bathroom, I'm just gonna do a really quick clean in here. I'm just gonna wipe down the mirror and the sink and then give the toilet a good cleaning, make sure everything's off the floor. And that's really it for in here. So I'm just gonna be using the same three products that I use in the boys' bathroom on this toilet. And you'll see that I don't use the Lysol wipes to clean the outside this time because I was just about out. I was down to my last two and I wanted to use them for the toilet seat. Um, but I did go to Walmart last night and luckily I was able to find more Clorox wipes. I didn't find any toilet paper though or any bread, but I did get disinfecting wipes. So I feel like I scored. So we are finally to the last room of this whole house clean with me and it's our master bedroom. I just wanted to start by getting all of the clothes off of the bed and then hanging my robe up. And then I'm just gonna go through and declutter the dressers and everything and wiping them all down.
in this basket right here, I keep all of Dalton's stuff, like his diapers, wipes, diaper rash cream, lotion, all that good stuff. I've always changed him in our bedroom, so it just makes more sense for me to have all that stuff next to my bed instead of in his room. And then I'm going to move on to making the bed and vacuuming the floors, and then I'll be folding one load of laundry. Okay guys, so that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for sticking through this super long whole house clean with me. I really hope it gave you all the motivation needed. And don't forget to check out Mel's channel when you're done. Her video is linked down in my description box. And make sure you tell her that I sent you. I hope you all have a great day. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new here, uh, please consider hitting that subscribe button because it would really mean the world to me. I'd love to have you be a part of my YouTube fam. Um, but other than that, I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Last